Can I see your license and registration, please? And may I ask, why are you stopping me? Because you look suspicious, that's why. Suspicious how? Well, I've never seen you around here before. You not seeing me or recognizing me isn't enough grounds to stop me. I look, that's your opinion. I have my opinion. It's obvious that you're just stopping me because you're racially profiling me. Last warning, be quiet. Otherwise, I'm going to arrest you right here. Arrest me. <sighs> arrest me. Go ahead and arrest me. Ooh, these donuts look especially good today. I don't know which one to try. This one has my name on it. Yes, they do look fantastic today. You're right. You called it, Sarge. Oh, God, that's good. Oh, you said it last go. Um, nothing better? Hey, did you see that car that just went by? Yeah, I did. What? Did you recognize the driver? No, I didn't. Neither did I. I don't know what you'd be doing driving around this neighborhood for. Do you want me to follow her? Yeah, why don't we ask her a few questions? We don't want her kind around here anyway. What about these donuts? Well, what about them? We can eat them later. Okay, let's go get her. Stopping me. <laughs> All right. That's weird. All right, I'll go talk to her. Do you need me to go with you? No, 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 I got this. Howdy, ma'am. Hello. Can I see your license and registration, please? Sure. Okay. Okay, Patricia, I see you, uh, you live here in Mango Park. Uh, I've never seen you around these parts before. Yeah, I actually moved recently. Uh, you know, the information on your license and your registration, it, it doesn't match up. The addresses are different. Yeah, I'm actually in the process of changing it. I have an appointment with the DMV this Friday. But uh, in the meantime, you're still breaking the law with these mismatched addresses. No, I'm not breaking the law. I have 30 days to change it, and I've only been here for three weeks. Are you trying to get smart with me? No, I'm not trying to be smart at all. I'm just letting you know the law. Wait, wait, you think I don't know the law? Well, given that you're an officer, I'm sure you know the law. But in this instance, I know I have 30 days to change the date on my registration date. And may I ask, why are you stopping me? Because you look suspicious, that's why. Suspicious how? Well, I've never seen you around here before. You not seeing me or recognizing me isn't enough grounds to stop me. I look, that's your opinion. I have my opinion. So let's leave it at that, shall we? <laughs> Sir, you know damn well you need probable cause or reasonable suspicion to stop me. What you have to do is stop asking a lot of questions and be quiet. You hear me? <laughs> Why should I? It's obvious that you're just stopping me because you're racially profiling me. All right. Last warning, be quiet, otherwise I'm gonna arrest you right here. Arrest me. All right, okay. <sighs> arrest me, go ahead and arrest me. 
I know Mango Park Police Department and the reputation you have. What are you talking about? Come on. Everybody knows how corrupt you all are and how you racial profile all the time. All right. This is your last warning, ma'am. Calm down. I won't calm down. All right. Turn around. You're under arrest. You have the right to remain, remain silent. silent. And anything I say can and will be used against me in the court of law. I have the right to an attorney. If I cannot afford one, one will be provided to me. Do I understand the rights as I have read them to myself today? And with that in mind, would I like to proceed to speak to you? I'm impressed. How do you know your Miranda rights so well? That's the first thing we learned at the academy. You went to the police academy? Graduated last month, and I passed my state police officer certification exam last week. <laughs> I can't wait to read the newspaper headline. Mango Park Police Department racially profiles a police officer in training and <laughs> arrests her. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Take those cuffs off her. She, I, she didn't tell me she was, I, I had no idea. Why didn't you tell me you were a trained police officer? Why should I? I know the reputation Mingo Park Police Department has, but I didn't realize how bad you guys really were. Please, please, I'm sure we can just forget about all this. It's just a simple case of my colleague here being a bit overzealous. I'm sure you understand. <laughs> overzealous, huh? Captain Porter is not gonna be happy when I tell him about this one. Wait, you know our captain? Yeah. I interviewed with him last week. I'm actually joining the police force next month. He told me about the problems he's been facing and how he's been trying to clean it up for years. Boy, oh boy, oh boy, does he have a lot of work ahead of him. Lasco, um, <laughs> come here a second. Um, she knows our captain. This is a problem. I, I had no idea. And she's joining our department? We are screwed. What are we going to do? <sighs> I'm not feeling too good about this. You know what? I got to go. I'll see you guys around. Uh, Patricia, could you do us a big, big favor? Could you not tell the captain about anything that happened here today, please? You know what? I'm all for granting favors, especially to my fellow police officers. But in this instance, given that this is reoccurring, not going to happen. Please, we're begging you. Not going to happen. Have a good day, officers. <sighs> Come on, let's go. I knew we should have kept eating those donuts and not got involved in this nonsense. My God, what's the captain going to do to us this time?